All right, everybody. It's Mr. P. It's like my third time doing this video, so I'm going to do this one really quickly. <clears throat> so we're on uh, CC35. I can describe the location of the Mediterranean Sea complex and explain how it affects or affected the civilizations connected by it. Okay. So what I want you to do is the first thing is I want you to go to our, um, you know, get the document uh, just so we know we're looking at. You're not doing the five W's one. You're doing the number 92 Mediterranean Sea complex. <clears throat> Once you get that into notability, what I want you to do is uh, go ahead and uh, start a new section in your money words. And um, if I just scroll down to the bottom here, I want to just show you how I did mine. Uh, so this is what we're looking at from the other day. You know, remember we had the spread of the Roman Empire over time. We have this hierarchy in society. And then I want you to do this new one for Mediterranean Sea Complex. <clears throat> so just do this at some point. Okay, and then when you get back to our document, I'd love to do this in real time with you, but I, I think I'm my videos are going too long or something. So, anyways, I cut this out and um, I pasted that into Money Words. Okay, so what I did is I uh, put it right here. Oops, and <clears throat> what I did is I drew some emphasis on this section right here. I drew some arrows uh, pointing to the Mediterranean Sea complex. If you see what I'm saying right here. You know, feel free to stop the video or whatever and get that taken care of. And um, let's go back to the document. And so let me just walk you through some of those things that you'll need to do for today, okay? Actually, I'm sorry. This is due uh, Thursday, okay? So <clears throat> this is the Mediterranean Sea complex here, okay? And we see it's situated right here on the Mediterranean, and it connects to the Trans-Saharan, and it also connects to the Indian Ocean, and also connects to the uh, Silk Road. So we shouldn't have any issues with this because this is pretty familiar to us. So we're just going to talk about in this one what continents is it connected to, okay? The next one, this is a historical map. And if we look at the title of this map, it's called Trade Routes and Commerce of the Roman Empire. And what you look at is like, so this is, you know, Europe right here. There's Italy, okay? And this is this uh, blue part that I'm going to be coloring in. I mean, this is the Mediterranean right in here, okay? So this is all the Mediterranean, Okay. And what you're going to do is that you're going to answer these questions right here. So like what says what three commodities, three commodities are uh, like items that are being traded. Okay. So if we look around into the document, it's pretty cool. Search around. If you look through all these different spots, you know, they have all these different items over it. Lead. Um, this one's copper, gold, they have grain up here, glass, pottery, uh, wool, grain, um, salt up here, horses, grain again, marble, Salt, sheep, camels, wool, all this kind of stuff they have over here. So <clears throat> just check out the map and um, what it'll ask you in this next session says, okay, where were the sources of slavery, slaves coming from in the Mediterranean? So, you know, find them in here. And they're talking about pepper and spices. Where are they coming from? You'll find it in there. Okay. Next, it says based on the maps uh, to the left. So we're talking about both maps. These, both of these. Okay. So according to those maps, which civilizations did the Romans have contact with through the trade around 200 CE? So you're going to look at this map right here. So we look, you know, trade 200 CE. And we're looking at who they're trading with. So what countries are those? Okay, according to these two maps. You're going to have to kind of put them together, look at one at a time, and then read the question again, and you'll get that, okay? And then you're going to do this prediction over here. How do you think it affected the lives of the Romans who lived in other civilizations, okay? That I'm talking about this one right here, okay? Now, <clears throat> moving forward, uh, let's go ahead and look at this section right here. And this is pretty straightforward. You can do a lazy man special, you know, highlight the uh, response and put it in here, highlight the response and put it in there. That'll be fine for uh, those questions. And you're gonna do the same down here. The questions ask you down here, they say, um, you know, how were people enslaved? You're going to find out how they're enslaved over here. So you can do a lazy man special, highlight wherever you think it is, and then draw the arrows, okay? Um, that's not necessarily the right answer right there. You can do the same thing here. What rights did uh, slaves have in Roman times? Okay, they're going to talk about the rights up in here, okay? And um, let's see here. Let's cruise down again. What are their jobs? There's the roles, the jobs, same thing. Uh, winning freedom, how could you be freed? Do a lazy man special, okay? 
And uh, again, I'm gonna erase those because those aren't the right answers. And finally, our last part is right here, which is, uh, it says, uh, describe the location of the Mediterranean Sea complex. I'm gonna put that as like number one, then you're gonna answer that. I'm gonna do this one as number two, answer that. So describe the location. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you cruise back up to one of the maps, you know, describe, is it like, is it north of Africa? Is it south of Africa? Whatever it is that you're thinking, um, do like the relative location for it, okay? And then also the next one says, explain how the Mediterranean Sea complex affected the civilizations connected by it. And if it was me doing this, I would cruise back up to this document and I would say like, looking around in here and looking at all the different items that are traded in the Mediterranean Sea complex, how might that affect your life? So like if you're one of these guys down here or if you're one of these salt guys, if you're one of these grain guys over here, how do you think that would uh, affect them? Okay, so maybe put a perspective of uh, somebody living within there, okay? Uh, just wrap that up and then you are done. Now this is gonna be due on Thursday evening, okay? So let's, um, uh, everybody take it easy, go get some fresh air today and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.